Well, the Mick is sick, the kid broke his wrist, and the Duke is trying to dodge jail time for tax evasion. It seems this summer it's become fashionable to take shots at our game of baseball. And to stay away from the big league games of what it's become. But this week, Galen Culver goes to Chandler for a different kind of baseball, where they still play the game for fun and where its future may be. In the gray twilight of an early July morning, the base paths and power alleys are quiet. The dugouts are empty. The score, always nothing, nothing. In this kind of quiet, it's easy to reflect on the game of baseball. Its history and its image a little worn around the edges. There are those who say this is the game's future, empty. But there are others, many of them in a place called Chandler, Oklahoma, who say our game is just asleep. The world outside may change, but every summer morning since 1958, the routine has stayed the same. Reveille starts at 8 sharp. And more than 100 boys age 8 to 18 begin another day at the Chandler baseball camp. Back in 58, Bo Belcher leased some land from the city of Chandler and put up a few diamonds. He practically begged a few local boys to come and spend a couple of weeks at his new baseball camp. His son, Tom Belcher, was one of the first counselors. My dad uh, wanted to provide a place for any boy, regardless of ability, to be able to learn to play the game, and at the same time use that, the baseball and the instruction to develop character in a boy, to make a, a better person out of a, out of a boy. One, two, three, four. The idea back then was to subject kids to 12 days of hard work on the fundamentals, teach them to hit and field, and to grow to respect the game, even if they didn't learn it well enough to play past Little League. Second baseman, here's how I mean, baseball is really all they get here, but it's for the boy who loves the game, that's all they want. They have dreams of being ball players, and we help them in, uh, uh, express that dream. Over the years, the hairstyles went from short to long. A 13-year-old named Aikman from Henrietta picked up a few tips on throwing. And Bo Belcher passed his baseball legacy on to Tom. My dad was into the game in a big way. Not as a player as much as working with young people. I wish it wouldn't have rained. In the past 38 years, close to 18,000 kids passed through this chow line. Boom, right there. Okay. Learned the intricacies of a double play. There you go, that a boy, good And job. dreamed big baseball dreams. Ready? In a place where the game stayed fun and where on quiet July mornings, it's still a beautiful thing to see. In Chandler, Galen Culver News Channel 4. Is this a great state or what? And the best part is that dreams can sometimes come true. Tom Belcher spent part of the 1963 season with the expansion of New York Mets as a pitcher. Found his real contribution to baseball a long way from New York. On Wednesday, Galen will tell us about one ball player who grew up at baseball camp, only to come back to make his own contribution. That's a great place. It's a fun place to spend a few weeks during the summertime. Yeah.